Good morning and uh, welcome here to morning prayer this morning on uh, the 4th of May. Uh, for those of you that uh, are, um, for those of you that are Star Wars fans, May the 4th and uh, may the 4th be with you and all that type of thing. It's supposed to be Star Wars Day or something today. Uh, I've just realised that I have um, Let's see, I can do that. Um, I've got a small M instead of a capital M for May, so I've just changed that. I hope this finds you well in good heart and in good spirits. I hope you managed to stay um, in one piece yesterday. It got a bit turbulent, didn't it, towards the end of the day, certainly in the afternoon and then in the evening. Um, I must admit, when I went to bed last night, I was wondering what I was going to see out in my garden and whether all the fence panels, etc., were all going to be in one place. Um, I've been out for my run this morning and there's a certain amount of detritus on the paths of leaves and uh, branches and that type of thing. Uh, it got just a bit blustery and it still is a bit blustery today, but I hope um, you are safe, dry and well. Today, say May 4th, morning prayer. Boom, boom, boom. On the right day. Ooh. May the 4th, English saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. Mm. Certainly a turbulent time in. Um, in our nation's history, um, but in church history as well, really, in this country, lots of things happened which we still um, are feeling the effects from, I suppose you might say. Lots of English saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. Let's just have a moment of quiet though as we recognize that we are in almighty god's presence O oh lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise in your resurrection O christ let heaven and earth rejoice Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day that you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen.
going to use Psalm 19. Psalm 19. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands and their words to the ends of the world. In them has he set the tabernacle for the sun that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the ends of the heavens and runs to the very end again and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than, mu mu more than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often they offend? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, rise in our hearts this day. Enfold us in the brightness of your love and bear us at the last to heaven's horizon for your love's sake. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you wish to read the uh, Old Testament reading, it is from Deuteronomy chapter 17, verses 88 to the end. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 8 to the end. We're going to move on to uh, the song of Moses and Miriam. This canticle that is found in Exodus, just after the people of Israel have crossed the Red Sea. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. We continue uh, our reading of Peter, uh, Peter's uh, letter. 1 Peter, uh, 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 13 to the end. 1 Peter chapter 1, starting at verse 13.
Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring, bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he, called, as, as he who called you to be holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. If you invoke as far if you invoke as father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him, you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now, you have, now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. For, as flesh is like grass, and its glory like the flower of grass, grass withers and the flower falls. But the word of the Lord endures forever. The, that word is the good news that was announced to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Quite a bit there, really, to, to, to take in. Some um, re reiteration of, um, of what we have been promised and what being given, grace, We were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from our ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold. Um, we were not paid up, so to say, with, um, um, what's the word, with um, money, but with the blood of Christ. That's the kind of guarantee that we have when we look at the cross. We are reminded of the love of God. We are reminded of um, what we have set before us, a reminder that God is with us and we have a God who loves us and cares. We also have instruction there right in the first paragraph that we read and right in the final paragraph that we read as well. Discipline yourselves live in love, mutual love, deeply from the heart. Sometimes that love might be challenging and during difficult times. But it, it is um, something that will endure, that the word of God, as it says, We are reminded uh, in the Bible, we're reminded actually during funeral services, um, our days are like the flowers of the field when the wind goes over it. Um, there's beauty there, but when the wind goes over it, it is gone and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever on those that fear him. And that's what this is saying here again. All flesh is like grass and its glory like the flower of the grass. Grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And the word is the good news that's been announced to us.
It's amazing to think in the 2000 years since Jesus walked the earth. It is amazing to think what has moved on in the world, how the world has changed, the changes that have happened uh, even in the last 10 years or even the last year. But the word of the Lord remains the same and is steadfast and is still good news. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? And to use the words of the Benedictus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will but go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Let me find my bits and bobs. I'm going to continue to use uh, John Pritchard's book here. Again, just showing you a picture and I don't think you saw it. Um, yesterday, uh, we were thinking about Christ, the light, the love, the peace, and the way. Today we have some prayers which are based around um, this phrase we hear Jesus say, I will be with you always. We're going to use that, as uh, John Pritchard says here, as an anchor for our intercessions. So we continue with our prayer and we bring before God our needs, the needs of the world, the needs of our communities, but also our praises and our um, prayers indeed. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus, be with the church the holy church, the sinful church, your church. Be with the suffering church, especially in places where, they, where the church suffers persecution and opposition, places such as China and Iran, but not just those places. But anywhere where there is opposition, anywhere where our brothers and sisters in Christ are imprisoned, tortured, killed, or in fear. Where the odds are stacked against faithful Christians. 
we thank you for their faith. We thank you for their courage. And we praise you, dear Father, that even in those places, churches grow. And your word offers hope in times of desperation. Be with the clergy here. We pray especially for Alvin at this challenging time as she has, a, has to juggle so many different things. We pray for all clergy, all ministers, all those doing your work, ordained and lay, bearing a hundred burdens that the rest of us may not see. Be with us all, dear Lord, as we try to live out the gospel in the ambiguities of home and work. And be with us in our church life here. Be with us all, dear Father, as we go through this challenging time for, for our nation, for our church. As we may be feeling isolated, unsure of what is happening and what's going to happen. Discontented with, with things at the moment. Maybe feeling we're unable to worship and praise the way that we would love to in terms of singing and, and, uh, and our fellowship together. Out of all these hardships and challenges, Lord, how out of all this sadness, help us to remember we are part of your vine. We are the branches. And you provide us with such strength, such a foundation on your word, which is eternal, and your love, which knows no boundaries. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus, be with our nation, our confused nation, our talented and blessed nation, our materialistic nation. Be with those that are left behind in the pursuit of money, powerless before TV's flickering fantasies. Be with the school leavers, and college leavers and university leavers looking out at an empty and an empty horizon and an uncertain future at this time bearing the brunt of many of the job losses and lack of opportunities that this pandemic has created be with the homeless who have found that an Englishman or an English person's home is their cardboard box. Be with our nation at this time, dear Father, of such uncertainty, at a time when we are slowly recovering from the effects of this virus, both in health terms, but in social and economic terms as well where the division between the haves and the have-nots has never been greater. We pray for our nation's health, physical, mental and spiritual. We pray for wisdom and guidance for all of us. to know what to do for the best. We pray for our leaders. And we pray for women and men 
to be raised of wisdom and righteousness and justice. We pray for the whole world, Lord, that indeed your kingdom will come. We pray for places such as Myanmar, Hong Kong. We pray for peace in Syria, in Yemen, in Libya, in Ethiopia, in Ukraine. And we pray for wisdom for all leaders. Always remembering, dear Father, that when we pray for peace, remembering that, as that song goes, um, let there be peace on earth, let it begin with me. Pray for peace in our world, pray for peace in our hearts. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus, be with the weak who know their need of you. Be with the strong who do not know their need of you. Be with the sick for whom life is anxious and painful. Be with the lonely who are desperate for someone to call their name. Be with the, these people whom we name before you now. In a moment, those that I read out and all those who are on our hearts at this time. We give you thanks, dear Father, that Roger is now home and progressing well, just a couple of weeks after such major surgery. We continue to pray for him in his recovery. We lift for you Trudy, Mark, Dennis, Christine, Addie, William, Pauline, Linda, Roy, Stuart, Diane, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, Mary, Bex, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Leslie, Wendy, Jim, Joe and the family, Natalie, John, Janet, Carol and Inca, Annette, Tony, John, Liz, Dave and the family, Daniel, Peter, Hazel, Jean, Shane, Joy, Tilly, Jan, Linda and the family, Chris, Oliver, Marcia, Claire and Vanessa, Anna, Angela, Anna, Dean, Mary, Chris. Pray for Martina as she continues to recover. Andy, Catherine, Anne, Sarah, E and D, Alistair, 
and peg. Just check something else. Sorry. Just checking a, a, an email an email. Lift them and their families before you this day, dear Lord. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus, be with those. We give you thanks for those on whom we depend for our daily needs. For those that have worked so hard during this time of intense challenge for our nation. For those who continue to work and do such things um, to support us. We give you thanks for those that are working on the front line of our NHS. For those who are providing such healing, such comfort. We pray for those who are in ensuring that we are fed as you fed so many, as you healed so many. We thank you for those who heal us and keep us well. As you fed us, Lord, or as you fed so many, we thank you for those that ensure that we are fed. As you were so keen to look uh, to for the, for the well-being of those that you're surrounded by and, and looking to bless the world, we thank you for those that we are blessed by. And as you came to teach and to nurture, we pray for those who work in our universities, colleges, schools, nurseries, playgroups, or those that look after our young, young people. So we lift before you all those that work in those places. Thank you, Christine. Pray for Michael, Noel, Lisa, Nick, Gareth, Susan, Sue, Joshua, Chris, Rebecca, Asha, Matthew, Sarah, Marie, and Heather. We also lift before you those who are those young people in our lives as they grow up in such challenging times. We name them on our hearts, and again, I name some out loud. Mia, Jack, Charlie, Evie, Noah, Ruby, Nathan, Travis, Ellie, Phoebe, Callum, Anton, Kerry, Oscar, Jake, Hannah, Jacob, Lily, Emily, Grace, Talitha, and Joel. Pray, dear Father, they will feel your presence this day. They will continue to develop and grow with each other and with you. Jesus says, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus be with the joyful, whose hearts are overflowing with gratitude. 
be with the newly engaged for whom life is a great promise. Be with the newly promoted who have had their talents recognised. Be with the newly converted who have found a faith for life. Jesus promises to all who will listen, I will be with you always to the end of the age. Lord, help us to believe your promise and to live in that confidence. Amen. And the collect for today. Merciful God, who when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, Raised up, raised up men and women in this land who witnessed to their faith with courage and const constancy. Give to your church that peace which is your will and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven and share together in the vision of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it is continues to be a great privilege and a pleasure to do this. Um, I hope you have a good day. It's still a little bit blustery out there. So I hope you uh, stay on your two feet or I hope you stay dry and warm. Um, yeah, I <laughs> hope this day goes well for you. And um, I hope you, yeah, may the fourth be with you all the day and may God's blessings fill you all day that's the most important thing um on the liturgy for ordinary radicals on their app we have this music today come thou fount oh let me just stop that i'll turn it up again always turn it down I'll turn it back up come thou fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy praise streams of mercy Those are around on a Saturday, you'll know that sometimes uh, in the in the liturgy for ordinary radicals, there is just this little reflection. Uh, and so I want to read this one to you today. Uh, Mech, oh my word, uh, Mechthild of Magdeburg, a 13th century mystic, prayed, I cannot dance, Lord, unless you lead me. If you want me to leap with abandon, you must intone the song. Then I shall leap into love, from love into knowledge, from knowledge into enjoyment, and from enjoyment beyond all human sensations. There I want to remain, yet want also to circle higher still. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. God bless you and keep you. See you soon.